Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, the Catholic Diocese of Ondo has fixed Friday, June 17, 2022, for the mass burial of those who lost their lives in the terrorist attack on St. Francis Catholic Church Owo, Ondo State, last week Sunday. The church said no fewer than 40 people died in the brutal attack, while many others sustained injuries. The Diocese Director of Social Communication, Reverend Father Augustine Iku, announced the date of the mass burial on Monday. Iku said the mass burial would take place at the church's new cemetery at Emure Road, Owo. At number two, the national electricity grid has crashed from a peak of 3,703 megawatts to as low as 9 megawatts. This is according to figures obtained on Monday from the Nigeria Electricity System Operator, an arm of the federal government's power transmission company. Nigeria witnessed widespread blackouts on Sunday after the national grid collapsed around 6.49 p.m. The recent collapse is the fifth in 2022 alone. At number three, a former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and 2023 presidential aspirant Kingsley Mogalu has resigned his membership from the African Democratic Congress days after losing his bid for the party's presidential ticket to Dumebi Kachiku. Mogalu lost in the primary election held in Abiokuta, Ogun State last Wednesday to Kachiku, the founder of Roots Television. He came second with 589 votes behind Kachiku who scored 978 votes. In his resignation letter addressed to the ADC national chairman, Oke Nwosu, on Monday, Mogalu claimed the exercise conducted by the ADC leadership was flawed with inconsistencies. At number four, a combined team of military and police operatives thwarted an attack by bandits on the Kaduna Abuja Highway on Monday. The spokesperson of the Kaduna State Police Command, Mohamed Jalige, disclosed this in a statement on Monday afternoon. The statement said the operatives killed one of the bandits and recovered one AK-47 rifle and nine of their operational motorcycles. At number five, the Guards Brigade of the Nigerian Army led the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Nigeria Police in a special parade on Monday as part of the activities to mark the 2022 Democracy Day. The Assistant Director of Army Public Relations for Guards Brigade, Godfrey Abakpa, made this known in a statement in Abuja. Abakpa said the special parade featured a march past by members of the armed forces and the police in slow and quick time. The high point of the national the high point of the national celebration was the signing of the Democracy Anniversary Register and the three hearty chairs offered by the armed forces and the police on parade. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voters card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening.